Have you ever been scrolling through YouTube or TikTok and came across one of those satisfying ball simulation videos with millions of views? I have, and I've always thought surely I could code that myself. Well, today we're gonna find out. I'm gonna create a brand new TikTok, Instagram and YouTube accounts and see how many views and followers I can get in a week with these types of videos. And after exactly one week, I'm gonna post this video. So let's open up Visual Studio Code, the best code editor, and nobody tell me otherwise. Install Pygame, and after writing some code, boom, we have a blue rectangle. Okay, let me fix that real quick. And now we have a beautiful green circle right in the middle. Let's quickly create a class for a smaller ball, and now we have to add gravity. Thankfully, 350 years ago, someone by the name of Isaac Newton said something really clever. He basically said, if object falls, accelerates because of gravity, if more time falling, more fast. So applying this logic, we can give some initial velocity to the ball, and every time we draw the ball, we add a tiny bit of velocity, and voila, we have gravity. But hold on a minute, because if you look really, really, really close, the small ball is kind of ignoring the laws of physics. Fixing this took me longer than I would like to admit, but basically we need to calculate the normal vector to the ball, calculate the reflected velocity and multiply this with our velocity. And check it out, not bad, huh? There might be some small problems that I haven't exactly mentioned, but shh, nobody needs to know about that. Don't tell anyone. I also decided to add this background because it looks sick. I thought of adding a GTA clip or a, one of those Minecraft parkour videos, but I thought that would be a bit too much. Okay, so far so good. We have our little simulation that works 80% of the time, and it's cool, but it's looking kind of boring. So I spent some time deeply analyzing viral ball videos and came to two very scientific conclusions. One, all the viral videos have color, and two, all the viral videos have sound. So I started by trying to implement sound and holy sh was this an annoying little ride. Until now, I have been using Pygame, but guess what? Pygame has no way to export game sound to an MP3, which is fantastic. And that means I have to implement everything myself. But before you go crazy in the comments saying, oh, green code, you're such a dumbass. Pygame is shit, use C++ like a real giga chat. I know, okay, I know, but I've coded enough already and I don't wanna start from scratch, okay? Okay. Three hours later. Boom. We have audio, but uh oh, I implemented the sound as a global list. But what happens so when there are more ball. Ball. The video so I exported right audio or not much and nothing so is working. Up. Anyway, kind of blacked out there. Not really sure what happened, but I'm sure it wasn't that difficult. I just suck at programming. But ladies and gents, we have audio. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Look, it's even playing the Mario Bros. theme song. So satisfying. I also saw that some videos added this trace here, so I added that as well. This was fairly easy. All I had to do was create the list with the end last positions of the object and show them on the screen. Oh, and by the way, my code is horrible. I mean, just look how many random attributes I'm declaring in this init function. But you know what? It works, okay? So leave me alone. Okay, now that we have a decent simulation, let me try that again. <laughs> now that we have a decent simulation, we need to come up with video ideas. Now, I don't know much about the TikTok or Instagram algorithm, but basically every social media guru on the internet talks about maximizing retention. Basically, we need to keep the viewer watching until the end. So I started off easy, you know, with a big circle shrinking every time the small ball bounces. Isn't this beautiful? Man, I'm a, I'm a TikTok genius, honestly. Okay, second idea. The ball gets bigger every time it bounces. Honestly, genius. So f original, man. Okay, ready, ready? Third video idea. The big circle gets smaller and the ball gets bigger. Nah, I'm too good at this, man. I also created other types of videos, which I totally 100% did not copy at all from other videos on the internet. Or for example, the ball erases my face, or well, the ball erases Code Bullet's face, or the ball reveals a computer science meme, you get the gist. I finally implemented collisions, which were surprisingly easy to implement somehow. I don't really know how. And now it's time to edit for eight hours to make sure the videos don't suck. And boom, we're done. That wasn't painful at all. I of course also added this annoying this TikTok voice that Python everyone seems to be using. Pocket. Pretty sick, right? And on top of all of this, I said, you know what? Let's make 30 more videos. This was easier to do though, since I just used the code from my maze and sorting algorithms video, and I made some content out of that. So now we have 15 ball videos, 
15 maze videos and 15 sorting algorithm videos. That took way too long for my liking, but it's fine. So here's the plan. Let's create brand new TikTok, Instagram and YouTube Shorts accounts and then post two videos a day. One ball video a day and alternate between maze and sorting videos. And day one started kind of slow. I posted two shorts on all accounts and I got some views. On my brand new TikTok account, I got a combined total of 1500 views, which is not bad. YouTube shorts got about 100 views and Instagram got almost no views. But I made good progress on day one. I created all the accounts and I posted my first two videos. Not too bad. But day two got way better. Instagram, which was kind of slow at first, skyrocketed to 31 followers. I even got 4,000 views on one of my videos. TikTok didn't go so well. I only amassed a total of one follower. And YouTube, I have three followers, one of them being myself, so really only two followers. But then something crazy happened on day three. One of my videos on Instagram got 22,000 views, which is pretty crazy considering that this account is almost brand new. Consequently, my followers shot up to 68 on Instagram, TikTok got to 14 followers, and YouTube was still kind of slacking at six subscribers. And before I knew it, it was day four. And I got some good news and some bad news. Bad news first. Bad news was that TikTok went completely bust. I mean, my videos were only getting five, six, four views. Like, it, it was not good. Good news is that my Instagram followers went up to 117 followers, which is pretty good on a brand new account. Anyways, on days five, six, and seven, I kept posting one or two videos a day. And in no time, the challenge was over, which is today, the day I'm recording this voiceover. So I thought we could go over the results. Let's start with TikTok. I posted a total of nine videos and I got a total of 16,216 views. Almost 2K were from the ball videos, 3K from the sorting and almost 10,000 views from the maze videos. So by far the maze videos did the best. However, I only got like 16 followers, which is yeah, like interesting. Things went a bit better on YouTube. I got 26,972 views in total, 533 from the sorting videos, 13,000 from the ball videos, and 13,400 for the maze videos. So again, maze videos did pretty good here. I got a total of 53 subscribers, which yeah, it's pretty good. And now for some crazy results, which I did not expect. Instagram. I got 6,000 views for the sorting videos, 7K for the ball videos, and 51,000 views for the maze videos. In total, I got 160,000 views, which is insane. And before I reveal the total number of followers, you might notice that the numbers don't really add up. And actually, that's because I uploaded two more videos to all accounts. You see, during this challenge, I also edited some shorts for this channel. And I thought, well, since I'm doing this challenge, I may as well post them to Instagram and TikTok. And the response was insane. I posted these two videos and got a combined view count of 100,000 views on Instagram, which is mind blowing. So if you take anything away from this video is that putting effort pays off because these two videos were the ones that I spent the most time editing and the ones that I use my real voice in. Anyway, as of right now, I have 2,734 followers on Instagram. It's not 100K, but it's pretty good. And every 30 minutes, I get like 50 more, which is just nuts to me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, follow me on Instagram, I guess. And yeah, honestly, um, have a great rest of your day.